Hey, it's Jorge from Team JVS giving you a quick exclusive on the new movie by Liam Neeson uh, called Blacklight. So the synopsis of this movie is Travis Block is a government operative coming to terms with his shadowy past. When he discovers a plot targeting U.S. citizen, Block finds himself in the crosshairs of FBI director he once helped protect. So this was your typical Liam Neeson movie. Um, you know, don't, don't expect to get blown away by the plot. Don't expect to get blown away by the acting. Um, I will say, uh, it's just your typical Liam Neeson movie. Um, so there's this, this kind of plot, you know, it, it starts off, uh, very quickly. Someone dies, um, and Liam Neeson is just trying to, you kind of get a, an idea of who he is and what his character is like. And he's kind of the guy you call when things are going haywire in the FBI. You need someone, for better lack of terms, extracted out of their situation. Which is all fine and dandy. But, yeah, this movie just falls flat. <laughs> like, I'm trying to find the positives, and I'm just, I'm not finding much. Um, if you've seen Taken, you've seen this movie. If you've seen Taken 2, you've seen this movie. Um... They even, like, in the third act, take his family, which was quite a shocker, I must say. Um, extremely a shocker. And, you know, a lot of the trailers, that the, the stuff that they show on the trailers, that's, that's basically the bulk of your action um, was all there. Um, you know, it, it's, it's not a great movie. Um, you know, I, I thought it was... Some of the, even some of like the car scenes and all that, it, it just, it seemed better. Like if this would have came out in like the early 2000s, it, it probably would have done a lot better. But because this plot is getting extremely old, um, you know, it, it just is what it is. Um, a couple highlights though from the movie, um, you know, uh, one of the, the characters, Emma, um, or I believe her name is Emma Raven Lampman, I believe. Uh, she did awesome. Uh, she was someone who I was not expecting to to have such a, a fun role in here and, and kind of stand out, but she stood out to me more than anybody else. Um, Liam Neeson was just himself, you know, same, same monotone, I guess. Uh, no depth, realistically, to his character, nothing like that. Um, and then all the other bad guys are, are just your typical bad guys. I guess that's the easiest way I can put it. Um, overall, I mean, if you want to see a fun movie in the background, matinee, that you really don't have to pay so much attention to, then yeah, this is, this is a great movie and I would, I would recommend this. But in terms of like being an action thriller and all that, I just, it, you've seen this before. I'll, I'll leave it at that. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be the dead horse on this one. Um, I did think they, they could have done better with it uh, in terms of just some of the twists or turns or just anything. It just, like I said, it just felt very flat to me, um, very repeatable um, and not in like the good, like you want to rewatch it repeatable way, but just in the, you've seen it before. Um, so nothing new, nothing spectacular. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of about it. I, I'm trying to find a lot of positives in this one, but it's just, it's not there. Um, overall, from a scale from one to 10, I mean, I would, I'd probably rate this like a, a three or a four. Um, just not his his best work. I mean, it. you've seen it already. That's the nicest way I'll put it. You've seen it. So, you know, definitely a three, three out of 10, um, three or four out of 10. Uh, we'll do 3.5 just to call it even, meet in the middle. But overall, yeah, this was, um, just wait for this one to come out on, you know, PBS or something, some free network. Um, it's not even worth like paying for Netflix for it. Uh, but that's just my two cents, but definitely let me know where you guys feel, you know, how you guys feel. Um, and it's kind of sad because Liam Neeson, you know, he, he can do such great stuff and he's just kind of coasting on this same character. <laughs> So, you know, definitely let me know what you guys think. If you guys saw it, um, you know, uh, did you like it, not like it? Do you think the same as I do? Um, as always, don't forget to 
like the video, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet, and follow us on all our other platforms. Uh, we have TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, hit us up on all those, Facebook. But other than that, this is Jorge from Team JBS, and we'll see you next time. Peace.